Google Cloud. And that would also show us how to connect to the server, which would be a Linux server, and how to set up a web server on that server. So it's actually a bit of long, long kind of work that we're going to do. So let's get started. So when you log into your Oracle Cloud Services account, you would see this couple of options, the develop and deploy options, the create infrastructure option, the migrate and the migrate options, migrate application environment option, the store and analyze data option, and the integrate applications options. So since we're going to be creating um, a virtual machine, machine instance on the Oracle Cloud, we would go to the infrastructure as a service section, this section which says create infrastructure. So when we click on that, that would take us to the other option where we can actually choose the kind of infrastructure we want to build. Is it a compute infrastructure, a storage infrastructure, a network infrastructure or container infrastructure. So we'll stick with the compute since we want to create a virtual machine or a virtual server on the cloud. So then the other option says, do you want virtual machines or a bare metal server? Bare metal server is actually the option where you want to bring in your own operating system, your own license and your own virtualization environment. Since that is not what we want to do, we'll stick with the virtual machine. So then the other option is actually either you use the Compute Instance or the Compute Classic Instance. I would use the Compute Classic Instance because it's a bit more straightforward. So once I click on that, it takes us to where we can actually select the kind of server we want to create. Probably it's an Oracle Linux, an Ubuntu Linux server or a Windows um, server. That's actually the three options that um, Oracle Cloud gives, the Oracle Linux server, the Canonical Ubuntu server, or the Microsoft Windows server. So today I'll be creating um, the Ubuntu server. But before that, let me just, let's give this instance a name so that we can recognize it later in case we need to modify or do anything with it. So I'll just name it um, DevOps. You can give it whatever name you like. So we're using Ubuntu, so I'll select Ubuntu. And then I have to accept the terms so that it can install the marketplace image for my use. And then it starts to create the marketplace image and it's done. You can see it's green. Then we come down here and we need to download the key. This key is basically a pair of public and private key that we can actually use to authenticate ourselves to the server that we're about to create. So I'll download and keep in a in an area on my system where I can use it later on. You might need to allow pop-up. So I would allow pop-up and then I would um, probably just try and make sure and verify that um, the file was downloaded. Okay, so the file is now downloaded and it's going to be my downloads folder. So once that is done, you can either customize the options if you're not satisfied with what you have but I'll just go to create option and then it starts it goes to the process of orchestrating the server the orchestration process the orchestration process is basically just a process whereby the Oracle cloud platform prepares our server image it allocates the memory the RAM and the IP addressing and all that so if you check these two servers I had already created earlier. The new one we just created is not showing because it's still in orchestration process and the orchestration process actually takes a couple of minutes. So for us to actually see that it's actually running, let's go to the orchestration tab and see the orchestration process that is actually going on. So here you can see we have three orchestrations. We have two ready. One is in starting mode, which is the one we just created. So like I said, it takes about a few minutes for it to come up. We might need to just try and hang around while it actually comes fully prepared or is fully started. So while we're waiting for that, let me talk about would to connect to a Linux server instance on the cloud, you would need a tool called SSH. And it's usually pre-installed on every unique Unix-based operating system such as Mac and any other Linux distributions. So 
if you are using any of such unique space distributions you, all you just need to do is go to your terminal of, of the operating system and that's the tool that you would use is actually embedded inside the terminal but if you're on Windows operating system you can just go ahead and download the tool called um, Potty and that tool would actually allow you connect to your server instance through SSH so let's just check if our orchestration process is actually complete or if it's still ongoing so okay it's still starting so while we're waiting for that I would actually go to one process that we might actually need to do so you need to locate where your key was downloaded and my home key was downloaded into my downloads folder so I'll change directory to my downloads folder and then I can list the key which is I think was called devops dot key okay so this key to actually use it to connect to our server we have to make it secure and how do we make it secure you would need to on a unix based system you type sudo that's switch user or do this as a root user and then you type chmod that's used to change the file access permissions and then we we'll give it a 400 each of these digits actually means something in unix they actually mean the type of file access permission given to the file so we actually want to make it more secure so then you put the name of the file which is the key in this case and then you press enter it asks for your root password and then you provide it and that has made it secure because if you don't do this you may actually have problems connecting to your server later on so let's check if our orchestration process is actually complete and um, I'm just trying to refresh the page and it's actually still starting so while that is ongoing I'll probably just use one of the existing servers that we have so to actually connect you can actually click on the little button over here the little button okay you have to go back to the instance tab which would list the actual the instance that are currently running and if you look at okay it's actually preparing our devops so to connect you just click on the little button over here and then you would click on connect that would give instructions on how to connect it says you can use ssh keys to ssh to log on to the key and then this is actually the command that we need to type so if you are you created a an ubuntu virtual machine the user would be ubuntu instead of opc but if you created an oracle linux the user the login the user created would be opc so let's try and see if we can log in. It's still in preparing mode, so I will just go ahead to the other server. So if you click on this, and then you click on connect, we've actually seen the instruction earlier, which is this. So I'll just go to my terminal, which is a tool that we'll use to connect. And then we would have to work on that command, and then would we'll use that to connect to the server later on so then while we're doing that let me actually just get the instruction on how we can set up a um, a web server on our on our Ubuntu server so set up web server on Ubuntu and that would come up with a whole couple of options which you can follow so I'm just trying to buy time while our server is actually ready. Let me refresh and see if our server is ready for connection. And um, I'm trying to refresh the page. So once the page comes up, if it's ready, then we'll just connect to it. Okay, it's still preparing. So I might have to just go ahead and pause the video here and then we'll return in the next video thank you guys for watching and i hope you had a great time watching